Hey, this is a short little how-to. I see some different haunted houses, different places sell these spark fences. The only thing that you really need, I haven't figured out the new battery chargers, but if you get yourself uh, an old battery charger from like a uh, garage sale or flea market, one that's something looks like this, dual rate, 12 volts, two amps, six amp. This gauge don't even work. And then you just take the positive, put it right on the fence. See, I'm standing on it. And then you take the negative, clamp it. Now I just hurry up and did this. You know, this ain't nothing special. And then this is just a piece of copper pipe laying around and it has threads. Oh, see my dirty dishes? But it has threads on the end. And the threads, I think the threads give it a nice little pop when you strike it across your fence. This is just chicken wire. So here, check this out. And, and I'm standing on it. This is 12 volt uh, DC. So it's nothing that's gonna kill you, you know, or tingle you. Always have your actor hold the ground so that way um, they're safe, you know. But. And also, you wanna make sure your, your chicken wire, you don't want it complete flat and screwed right up to your wall. You want some type of little bows in it and stuff like that. And, you know, you have your actor stand behind and say, hey, come here, come here, I gotta tell you something. And then scare the hell out of them. So let's try this with the lights off. See what it looks like. There you go, that's the spark fence technique. Now, you've seen the little blue spots. I believe that's from uh, copper. When copper's on fire, it burns blue. That's like uh, the fireworks that you'll see like 4th of July. That's why you don't see too many bright, bright blue. You'll see more reds and oranges and whites than you'll see blue because blue is from copper. In order to make the fireworks, they need, you know, copper, fine powder copper. And copper is expensive, so what are they gonna use? They're gonna use the most cheapest thing possible. So, and that comes from a certified power technician. But if you have yourself a pipe, and make sure it has threads on it, and just your chicken wire. Just drag it across. And that's your spark fence. And if you're not a subscriber already, just hit that subscribe button up here or wherever it is. And subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll see some other easy how-to videos. Thanks for watching.